Hi, this is Mike, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to isolate or separate elements from Dreaming Tree using Brother Canvas Workspace. Now, the reason you might want to use this is if you want to separate elements because perhaps your machine didn't cut one of the elements out correctly, or you wanted to do some different colors or designs and you wanted your elements separated. Now I do want to point out that Brother Canvas Workspace does have an online version as well as a desktop version. And for this tutorial, you will want to use the desktop version because the desktop version has what's called layers. If you look over here to the right hand side, you will see a layers panel and the online version um, currently does not have that. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do is bring in my SVG file. So I'm going to go over here to the left and click SVG. And for this example, I'm going to use one of the balloon festival or the balloon uh, bundle here. And I'm going to pull in a balloon and I am going to pull in the main one Rouge SVG file. So I'm going to click on that. And so let's just say for this example, um, one of these didn't cut right, so I needed to cut one extra, and I obviously don't want to cut all three. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to export this as an FCM file, and an FCM file is the Brother Canvas native file. So I'm going to go up here to File, and I'm going to go to Export FCM File. And let's give this a name. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to name this example right now and I'm this is the directory that I do want to put it in if you wanted to put it into a different directory you could go ahead and change that and I'm gonna click Save okay so now I want to go file new and I already saved it so I don't need to save it again and now I have a brand new canvas and I'm going to say file import from your computer and I am going to find that example FCM and I'm going to open it and you are going to see it does make it um, it does remove the colors but that's fine um, it will still cut correctly and so if I look over on my layers panel you'll see I have two groups now one group if I hide that you're gonna see are the score lines and the other group if I hide the, the eyeball over here on the layers panel you're gonna see is the actual elements so now working in my layers panel, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click ungroup. And you're going to see that all of the score lines have ungrouped. And I'm going to just scroll all the way down to the very bottom. And I'm going to go to the next grouping and I'm going to right click. And I'm going to ungroup that. So now everything in this file has is ungrouped and they're all separated. So the last thing one of the last things that I need to do is just drag over the first one, right click and group that. And now you see that, it just gives it a second, now you can see that I can move this around, this is separated. I can highlight that one, right click, group that. Just give my computer a second. And now this one I can move around. And lastly, right click, group and I can do this now in the example that I'm using we only wanted to cut one of these so I do have two extra all I need to do is highlight one of them right click delete right click and delete and now I have the one left that I would cut out and I could move that anywhere on my mat and my score lines are intact so I hope this was helpful. If you do have any other questions, please contact us using our web form on 3dsvg.com or contact us directly using info at 3dsvg.com. Thank you guys and have a great day.